I cannot think of a higher work or broader vocation for anyone than the simple spreading of this particular devotion of St. Louis de Montfort. Father Faber, in one of his introductions, beginning of the True Devotion book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today is the Feast of St. Louis de Montfort. St. Louis gave many parish missions throughout his priestly ministry. Missions, for example, like Monte Bernage, Saint-Savin, and saint Saturin, And many people flocked to listen to this great saint's preaching and his great zeal and love for our Lord and for Our Lady. Hundreds, thousands of people gathered for his devotional marrying processions, the renewal of baptismal promises, and all the like. Once, the people almost made off to him as a canonized saint right then and there, still in life. They witnessed with their own eyes how St. Louis invited a priest who denounced him to the vicar general to be a deacon in the solemn high mass. And they thought this was the extreme of charity. until there was that last missions at St. Saturin when the bishop asked him to go and to try to help those poor people who were away from God. And as you know from all the missions that he did, the Jansenists were always throwing in a monk- monkey wrench to try to ruin his efforts. And this time they succeeded. So St. Louis was confessing many people, changing the lives of many of these people here in this mission. And he was doing all kinds of things, even physical miracles. People were being healed. Uh, People were uh, experiencing supernatural phenomenon through this mission. And so the Jansenists, because they saw so many miracles he was performing, were at uh, at the end of their rope. So they went to the Bishop of Poitiers and asked that he will be removed from priestly ministry, accusing him of all kinds of wrongdoings and false accusations. The bishop listened to them. And so therefore, a week or so later, um, St. Louis was preaching to a group of nuns, their retreat in St. Catherine Parish in 1706. And word was given to him right in the middle of that retreat that he is no longer permitted to preach in public. He must remove himself. So he had a, had a closed shop, leave, and went back to his house near the chapel of penitence. At first, St. Louis de Montfort was absolutely astounded with the verdict and he told himself that he would go and visit the bishop to put things straight, uh, seek an explanation, and provide some explanation on his own uh, for the reasons of why the bishop decided to do such a thing. But soon he thought again, he, he gave up his plan, and resigned himself to obey the order of the bishop. And one of the religious that was with St. Louis de Montfort, Brother Maturin, couldn't believe his eyes And he protested that this must be stopped. Why can't the bishop see all the fruits of your missions? He told St. Louis de Montfort. And St. Louis de Montfort smiled faintly and then said, Because it isn't God's will. It's the price that we pay for true devotion to Mary. Satan hates it, but by being resigned slaves of Mary, we can do so much for good for souls and even for those souls yet to be born in future generations. What a tremendous heroic saint 
we remember. And if we are consecrated to Our Lady through the methodology of St. Louis de Montfort, uh, watch out. Uh, because there is going to be great joys, but there will be great persecutions, and there will be great uh, uh, challenges uh, in order to to do God's holy will. But God will always give us the grace if we're dedicated uh, to Our Lady. Uh, some sisters at, at Monday, when you have that uh, weekly uh, huddling together to plan the week together. Um, one sister might be thinking that uh, she'll uh, she'll have fun with the dogs this week. This will be this will be great. I'll be I'll be able to play with Rover, you know. Uh, but then all of a sudden, uh, sister, you're going to be doing uh, the chaplain's lunches, you know. <laughs> and then uh, so the uh, the smile turns into a frown, and, and these little tiny things that that make us difficult, have difficult moments, these are the moments where Our Lady is looking uh, to bless us. She wants us to have the same attitude as St. Louis de Montfort. Imagine St. Louis de Montfort just performs supernatural miracles and hundreds of people were filing into line going to confession for the first time in 40 years. And all of a sudden, he's yanked out of ministry, uh, almost suspended in his priestly service. And what was his response? The faint smile saying, this is the price we must pay to be close to the Blessed Virgin. So as we continue this holy sacrifice of the Mass, let us renew our consecration to God and anything that He may ask of us, boring days, exciting days, difficult days, tempted days, may they all be the same day a day dedicated to Our Lady and to our Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.